Hey ho there friends and neighbors, Bobby here this evening and friends tonight I want to give you three tips when doing interior painting in your home, okay? Step number one, wash the walls. This is the proper time to get all the dirt and crud off the walls so that your new paint will adhere properly. Now bring the camera down here. I have a five gallon bucket with some water. I got a couple gallons of water in it and I got about four to six ounces of pine saw. Okay. Pine saw works really good because it doesn't suds up very much and it does a good job cleaning. Now what I do, just mix it up in here, get you some uh, rags. These are kind of like larger rags, sort of like the size that you would find uh, at Home Depot. They have these like a bag of these for ten dollars you know just kind of a general purpose rag go ahead and uh dip it in your water wring it out and just have fun washing the walls if you can reach all the way to the ceiling great if you can't you might have to have a little step ladder and just go over every square inch of the wall really good and this also gives you a good chance to clean your baseboard really good because a lot of times dust will stack up on top and you definitely don't want to paint over top of that it just looks terrible so go ahead and clean the walls really good before painting okay folks for step number two as a tip uh, you're always probably going to have some little holes in your wall where you had your pictures and everything hung before and you may not want to go back with that same spot to hang your pictures so now's a good time to film before you paint what i like to use is this uh, spackling it's actually colored pink when it dries, it um, turns white. And let me show you a little tip here to where you won't have to do any sanding, okay? Just go ahead and pull out a little bit on your, uh, on your um, putty knife here, and we're just gonna squeeze it. At those, we've got four little holes here. We're gonna squeeze right over top of that, okay? And then just a very thin coat. Okay, now, what I have in my hand here is a damp sponge, okay? So right now, just take it, and lightly go across the area that you just touched up until you take off any excess and guess what you won't have to do any sanding at all okay folks for the third and final tip of the day if you're going to paint just the walls in your house paint just the walls but if you are going to change the color of the trim i recommend that you actually do all your trim work first okay so let me just dab a little paint on here and then I'll talk about why I would recommend doing the trim um, first, okay? So as you can see, I'm painting and we're definitely doing a little bit of a color change and we wanna get up on this edge right here on the side and we wanna come down here. We're gonna to try to be as neat as possible, but if we get a little bit of paint on the wall, it's no big deal, okay? Because we're gonna come back and paint the wall. And the reason I recommend doing the trim first because it's a lot easier to cut this line with a brush when you're painting, when you got the whole wall to work with, okay? A lot easier to cut this line. It's also, bring the camera down here on the baseboard. We're not gonna paint the baseboard here, but if we were, as you can see, you'd wanna paint this first because it's a lot easier to come back in here and cut this line with the wall color versus trying to cut the line with the uh, baseboard. Just a little recommendation that I have it works good for me, may not work for you. Guys, thanks for uh, watching the video today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.